The ornithology department at the American Museum houses the largest collection of bird specimens in the world. It's also the most taxonomically diverse. We have virtually all species of currently living and recently extinct birds represented here at the AMNH. The specimens have now become much more useful than they were in the past because of new techniques that have been discovered, particularly the use of genetics from the DNA samples which we obtain from the specimens. All these trays I've opened, the birds here are called rainbow lorikeets. They're all theoretically the same species, but as you can see, if you compare birds from different drawers, they're all quite different from each other. Another important collection that we have in here is the type collection. The types are specimens which researchers used to um, describe species. When they describe a species, they designate a specimen to represent that species. And uh, so these are a very, very important collection uh, of birds. We have specimens here at the AMNH that are around 200 years old. Each bird, aside from having the data from where it was collected, when it was collected, has what we call a catalog number. We have right now in the skins over 830,000 catalog numbers. Most of that information now has been transcribed from the labels via handwritten ledgers into a computer database. And that's one of our big achievements of the last decade in ornithology. We've made our data freely available to the world of ornithology and the public. Aside from what you see out in the public galleries, one of the most important roles of the American Museum is research into all aspects of biology of, of birds. We study evolution, we study conservation, we study biogeography. These collections are they're kind of like a library of specimens that can be consulted and used by scientists and have been consulted and used by scientists for over a hundred years. And many, many really important discoveries of that evolution have been made using our specimens.